Hello everyone. Welcome to another session or a video presentation for the sixth International University Symposium on Humanities and Art or Kinus Art in 2021. My name is Amasutan Rosali as the first author, and then there is Tommy Christomi as the second author. On this occasion, we will present our research with the title The Narrative of His Communication and the presence of the ghost character in the novel Hania and Allah by Ernie Anajan. Hello everyone, I'm Tommy Christomi. As the introduction, we began our focus of the research uh, about the condition in Indonesia, which not only centered in Java, Bali, and Sumatra. We have some beautiful but exciting stories from the East region. The experience from the Eastern Indonesia provides several values that are no less important. One of them is the narrative in the novel, Hania and Allah di Rumah Tuteruga by Ernie Alaja. This novel describes the people in the cloak farming environment in a Maluku who live in tolerance and openness. The story is centered on a character named Allah who befriends with a ghost named Malika Ibu. She faced several problems as the story progresses. One of them relates to another character named Nafti Kore who was excommunicated by the residents in his village. For focusing our research, we compile the problems into two questions. First, how is the narrative of the excommunication in the novel constructed through the text? Second, why is the author presented the ghost character in the excommunication narrative? With that problem, this study aims to describe the narrative of excommunication and selection of the ghost character in the novel, including its role in the conflict mediation when limited by its own reasons. As a method, this research used a sociological approach to literature and the theory of conflict, which is carried out using qualitative method and based on literary studies. As the specific uh, theoretical, we use sociological approach to literature by Damono and another from Wallach and Wern, and also from what? And then there is theory of conflict and specific analysis in the novel by Sujiman, Joshua and Joshua, Kenny and Ziokowski. There is several stages in this research that we do in this paper. First, we identify the object of or corpus of the research, named the novel. Second, we read the novel critically, or as we call it as close reading. Third, we identify the main research topics. Fourth, we analyze the pattern of conflict in the story. Fifth, we identify minor themes from the conflicts to build the main themes. And sixth, we identify the new ideas as a result of the analysis. As the result of the analysis, also as the conclusion, there are three main points in the analysis of this research. First, the excommunication narrative shows the social problems that is trying to be solved but becomes obscure by the presence of the ghost character. Nafti Kore was excommunicated because of mystical issues that were developed by the resident in his village on purpose because they did not know the truth about the death of his parents. As a living witness, as well as the preparator of the tragedy, Nafti Kore bears the attitude of the community until the end of the story. The second point is, the ghost character in the story have several functions, although it ultimately failed to stop the practice of the excommunication. The author considered several functions for choosing a character in the form of a ghost in the novel. Manika Ido acts as a guide in the excommunication of Nafti Kore to support the effectiveness of the storyline as an all-knowing character, since he is not limited by the age. His presence also become a friend for the main character 
which triggered an, an emotional impression for the reader. He also, as a ghost, is connected the story with a historical event during the Dutch colonial period with his story life. The last point is the presence of the ghost in the excommunication narrative builds a parallel relationship to implying the overall idea of social criticism. Even the ghost character in this story failed to stop the excommunication. Its presence in the story reveals the attitude of the society who oppressed some little voice, even for explaining the truth. In addition, the presence of the ghost character with the kind character also criticized the attitude of the people who are obsessed and scared with mysticism. We can find this collective character in the several profession phenomena in Indonesia, when people do not hesitate to take a repressive action while trapped in their own created myth and fear. This is the list of the sources that we use as a reference for this research. As a closing, we would like to thank you for the help of the Indonesian Studies Program, Faculty of Humanities, University of Indonesia, and the Committee for the Indosar 2021 for this opportunity. We are really happy to accept all of the feedback in the down comment below. Thank you for your attention. Have a nice day and see you next time.